What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. You already know who it is. I don't need any further introduction, but if you do not know me, my name is Fetty Wop. 1738. Yeah, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little breakdown on regalia loops. I should be releasing this video on a Friday, which means my best friend Jaded, totally not me, is going to be releasing a song with Cunny out on all streaming platforms, so you guys should definitely go check it out. The link will be down in the bio. But yeah, all right, I just got my room back from Fetty Wop. I wonder what he said. But here I have the project file opened up and there are a couple things regarding regalia that I do want to share with you guys is that not always like you guys can still experiment but uh, there are a lot of orchestral elements to this so there's going to be a lot of uh, kind of brass and string sections, violins and stuff like that um, and that there's also uh, triplets so it's it's gonna have a triplet flow throughout the the melody and it's like da -da 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 -da. but again you guys can break past that and really experiment for yourself and if you guys are using FL studio let me know down in the comments below because they just came out with a new update and I'm really really liking it I really like the themes that they added even though I know you could have done it with FL Skinner back in the day but anyways so we're using this plugin called BBC Symphony Orchestra by Spitfire Audio. It's a free plugin, so I definitely um, suggest you guys check it out. And I'm using Violins 1 Spiccato. And again, it's triplet. I think this is in a minor scale, but I already forget. But here. I mean, it's, it's fairly simple. You just do that. And I layered it with another I did it with violins 2 and spiccato it's literally a copy and paste just in a different octave I'm pretty sure yep and I'm just realizing this now I didn't really play around with um, velocity but you guys can also do that to help make things sound more authentic and real all right, so up next we have a uh, Japanese jazz studio from Analog Lab 5. It's a piano and I think I played around with the knobs down here, but with screen recording, my PC can't handle it. So I just dropped the MIDI into an FL keys. Doesn't sound too different, but this is just so you guys can have a quick idea of what it sounds like. And so it basically repeats throughout an 8-bar loop. I did play with the velocity a lot more on this and uh, I did a strum on the chords and added a top melody. Nothing too, too difficult, hopefully. Um, next we have Serum and what did I use? I used this lead from the Pacific Serum Bank. And this is what it sounds like. So then the last two things that I used is expand. And it's just some strings. So I use this from the string section. It's a solo violin. And I use this kind of as a top melody kind of. Just to follow the chord progression. I think it should be a similar thing for the second one. Big soft strings from the string section as well. Uh, it's a different progression, but they work together. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. Like what, it's six different sounds. And with this, you can make a lot of fire beats. But yeah, I'll play the finished product for you guys right now.
Now guys, I really really appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you're still here, you're a real one. Thank you for watching until the end. Um, but yeah, now's the time for the outro. Um, my name is Jaded, and I release my own music, but at the same time, I still produce, I make beats, and I wanted to share some of my knowledge with you guys, whether you guys are just casual watchers, thank you. Or if you're a producer that's starting out, if not, if you're still trying to learn, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. All my socials and all my socials and the links to my music are going to be down in the description below. It would mean a ton if you guys went and checked that out. But yeah, without further ado, if you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know how many times I said that, but yeah, see you guys. 1738. Yeah, baby.